All right, guys. Welcome back to more Let's Play Baldur's Gate. So we are going into the crypt. We have a fine light mesa disruption because we learned in the last video that uh, the guy going down in the crypt is going to die either way, and that skeletons are bad against disruption. Take this and that, and oh, you lost your head. Are you a zombie? Oh, there we go. That works. Ooh, I'll take a potion. Thank you, because I just used one, too. Alright, well. This is actually go. Oh, hi. So it seems like they'll just randomly disappear when you hit them. There we go. Come here. Wow, look at that. That was awesome. Cool. I'll take all this. More arrows. Awesome. Don't care. Get out of my way. Oh, don't push the box in there. Oh, crap. Can I push you out of there somehow? Hey, I did it. Good. Alright. Let's go through... Hello. What are you doing here? Run now before it changes you. What changes me? I I am Fayed, a priest of ill matter. I tend the crypts and perform burial rites here at the Shrine of Suffering. Now now I fear that I shall be the next one to be changed. Into the Walking Dead. Haven't you seen them? They're everywhere. Brothers and sisters of the temple, all dead. I was taking an urn of ashes to one of the crypts when I discovered a strange set of tracks leading downwards. When I followed them, I found that thing, that foul orb, and the dead arose around me. Vile skeletons, zombies, on holy ground. I acted quickly, sealing this level off from the level below, then barricaded myself in this room. I had hoped sealing off this level would prevent the dead from reaching here. I was wrong. We priests of ill matter set up some non-lethal traps here in the crypts to capture grave robbers. The trap that sealed off the exits is triggered by three urns on this level. When these urns are taken from their pedestals, stone blocks seal off all the exits from this level. I knocked all the urns from their pedestals and then barricaded myself in here. Hmm. But I was not fast enough. Some of the dead had already entered this level, and the power of that... that... thing below seems to be able to reach even here. Fortunately, I am able to hide myself from the eyes of these undead creatures, for the time being. I can only hope that the gates and wards will prevent the dead from reaching the level above. They're coming from below, from that... that thing in the Chamber of Ashes. It's an orb. I only caught a glimpse of it, what it was doing to my fellow priests. The orb calls to their spirits, then kills them, slowly letting them die, then raising them again so they may suffer in undeath as well. It hates all of us priests. Even now, I can hear it calling, trying to draw me to it so it can kill me. Then raise me from the dead to perform its will. Oh boy. Uh, where did the orb come from? I don't know. I was delivering an urn to the lower crypts when I suddenly noticed tracks on the floor. As I am the only one who usually comes down here, I became curious and followed them. They lead to the level below. That was when I noticed a foul-smelling mist emanating from the Chamber of Ashes. When I entered the chamber, there it was. A swirling gray orb surrounded by bodies and, and this horrid glow. And without thinking, I ran. Ran and hid. Uh, if this level is sealed off... To reach the level below, you must find the three urns on this level and place them back on the proper pedestals. Then the gate to the crypts below will open. Uh, what do the urns look like? There are three urns, gold, silver, and bronze. 
They and the pedestals they rested upon were intended to catch grave robbers. I had hoped by activating them I could seal the undead below. A vain hope. Uh, where did the orb come from? I don't oh. Know. They lead to the level below. That was when I... No, my place is here. I... I should help you, not run from this. If I can help you, I will. <sighs> I fear a great many. Many of Matari from across the Sword Coast were at the shrine to pay respects to the sacrifice of St. Solars the Twice Martyred when this evil struck. This evil has devoured almost all the brothers and sisters of ill matter gathered for the ceremony. Well over 200 men and women. Now zombies animated by that foul orb. The skeletons, however, seem to have been raised from the dead that lay within the crypts already. Nearly a century of dead, their bones given life once again. That's kind of cool. Um... We've done that, we've done that. I could use some healing. Of course. <sighs> Thank you. You've uh, blah, blah, you blah, blah, blah. Okay. You can stay down here. I will come to you when I need healing. Wow, one gold, thanks. Okay, so there's a there's our saving pedestal here, which is good. So we'll deal with that later. Come here. Hello, zombies. And skeletons and stuff. I thought the friar healed me. Ah, crap. Okay, well, there's somebody walking. Let me kill you. Thank you. Why are you over here? Is this a ghost? Oh, that's cool. That's a ghost. I thought disrupting you might bring you back to life. Hello. Damn. Okay. Hello. Okay, so that ghost is going to screw with my perception here. Because I'm going to keep thinking that it's a uh, enemy. 39 damage to take these guys out. It's going to be harder than I thought. Although the disrupting makes it pretty easy. Because it has the chance to just make them disappear. Like that. <laughs> okay. Ha 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 Come through the door. I'll fight you one-on-one. -on -one. Look at that. Awesome. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. You're dead. Well, you're, you're re-dead. There we go. Alright, let's go back over here. Hello, dead person. Can I help you somehow? Alright, nothing else here, although I killed a lot of them in the doorway. Okay. Wow, this is interesting. Alright, I can kill you. That was, uh... Wow, these guys take a lot of hits. Even with this, uh, disrupting. Ow. Ow. Stop shooting me. Okay, I'm coming over here. You guys suck. Get out of here. Wow, that was, uh, that was nice. One shot of that guy. 
Alright, I have to keep an eye on my... Ooh, there's two areas we can go. I have to keep an eye on my health and my uh, weight, too. Yeah, I only have the fine light mace of disruption, so that's fine. Uh, padded gloves, padded helmet, padded gloves. Okay. There's a saving place there. So I guess that's the right way to go, so let's go up here. Good, more money. Ah, uh, you know what? You're coming through the doors. That's what you're gonna do. Come through the door. Thank you. You guys are gonna... You guys are easily gonna die. There we go. Nice. Oh, if I critical, that seems to send them away. That's awesome. Oh, and there's a... Uh, So I can either just kill them or disrupt them, depending on if I crit or not. Oh, I'm gonna get a level up so soon. Oh god, there's so many of them. Okay. Good. Good. All right. Ooh, I can now adjust one point. Plus one attack, plus one melee. So what you want to do is you want to try and increase odd numbers to even numbers because it does uh, things better. Um, I want my con to go up. Now I have five points here. So let's see here. Improve critical cost two, especially in this, that might actually be a good idea. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Ooh, I could do it again. Let's actually not do that. Let's do um, dodge and um, Endurance. That way I can carry more things. There we go. Oh, hi. Didn't see you over here. But now we have a bigger, better chance to crit. So, it is possible that we will disrupt more of these guys. So that is always a good thing. And we have more health now. Ah, oh, this area is so huge. I don't know what way we're supposed to go. All right, let's go this way. There we go. Money? I heard money. Yeah, these healing potions do even less now. But granted, that's probably because I have a lot of hit points. Yeah, there we go. I'll take that. Alright, more money. No items. I've not seen, like, many treasure chests or anything. Oh, really? There should have been something in that. It's the only thing left in a corner. Alright, let's... Alright, so, let's see here. My armor class is now a 19, which is pretty good. My health is a uh, 64, which is nice. Family heirloom. It's in the crypts. Find and destroy the evil artifact and find Kaizen. Which I think Kaizen might be the guy that has the orb who's going to die. So, that's not entirely a good thing. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. 
I don't know how much the light healing potions are supposed to heal, but... Maybe it's a percentage of your... Oh, wow. Maybe it's a percentage of your max health or something? I gotta get rid of some of these melee guys. There we go. Alright, that's better. Wow. You guys are being jerks. Jeez. Okay. Wow. Holy crap. Let's... How about we stop that, guys? Alright. Well, there's one of the urns. There we go. Holy jeebus. There's another urn. I'll pick up a short bow. So one, two. That's a nothing. This is probably the entrance, and I'm assuming that there's going to be the third one around here, too. I picked up something that was magical. I got a ring. That's cool. Ooh, padded gloves, plus one. I'll take it. Ooh, and worn padded armor. Oh, wait. Nope, padded gloves plus one are worse than the stubble leather. Sweet. Anything here? Short bow. And short bow. So, okay. So that puts our armor to 24. Awesome. Oh, is this one of them? Yep, that's one of the, uh... That's one of the urns, so I don't really want to be here. So I think I want to go back into this area. All right, let's save our game. Yes, please. All right, and when we come back, we'll continue exploring the crypts and collecting items. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you then. Take care.